Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Broken Terrain, and I'm going to show you how to do these great statues from some dollar store figurines. Find inspiration everywhere. Let's do it after the drop. We like to go to the dollar store for snacks and drinks for the kids' lunches and uh, to fill the cabinets with cheap, delicious goodies. But while you're there, don't forget to go through the toys and crafting sections. The dollar store has great prices for tons of wonderful craft pieces and ideas. And these are part of those wonderful little toys for crafting. Uh, this four pack of wrestlers is actually from five and below, but that just uh, doubles down on my point. Wherever you go, keep your eye open, keep your mind open. You'll never know where you're going to find inspiration for your next craft. And with that said, let's get to it. I've picked the Roman Reigns figure from my four pack of wrestlers. The figure has some incredible texture and it already looks like he's wearing a uh, belted leather chest piece. So I'm going to take some thin chipboard, some very thin cardstock, and I'm going to add some details to him. This is going to take him out of a modern look and make it more of a medieval fantasy look. And the first way I do that is by cutting and bending and folding this little loincloth piece. We're going to trim and tatter the edge, and then we're going to super glue that just under the belts of the figure. We're going to let that figure's texture uh, really lend itself to this bit of addition. And then with this chipboard, I'm just going to keep adding details to create a fantasy look. I've decided a very large sword on the back of Mr. Reigns' character here is going to look very medieval and very awesome. I encourage you to try this one, this Project YouTube. It's a ton of fun and a great way to flex your creative muscle. First by finding these figures and purchasing them, and then taking a look and, and really figuring out how you can twist the figure and its mold and sculpt to fit your idea and, uh, and make it useful for your tabletop. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this and ultimately did a second one with the rock figurine as well. But I didn't capture much of that on video, I apologize. Just Mr. Reigns here. I've added a hilt to the sword to add a little more texture and dimension. I could have gone a whole lot harder with the texture and added leg armor and, uh, and all kinds of stuff to him, but I did just want to give you the basic idea of, of what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, every figure is different and you really need to look at its pose and sculpt and make modifications that work with that figure. Don't fight it, work with it. Uh, to add a little bit more fantasy, I'm gonna add a piece of uh, armor to his forearm there, and just to punch it up a little bit. But this was a really good figure to choose. It already had a really medieval looking sculpt with the body armor and the 
pants weren't too modern. It didn't really throw anything off. Well, I've got him looking pretty good. And now it's time to put a base on. I'm gonna use an old prescription bottle top. It's gonna to be uh, pretty cool looking with the edges along the side. It'll look like a decorative base and it fits really well. Uh, you know I like my fender washers though. So I'm gonna hot glue a chunk of XPS foam in there, cut it flush, and then I'm gonna trench out a small area for the fender washer. And that way the figure will be, or the statue will have uh, magnetic qualities. Um, so it might fit on the fountain, for example, uh, a project I had done earlier. After tracing the fender washer circle out on the foam, you just score around the edges and dig just enough foam out for that fender washer to hot glue in and for everything to sit flush. Once that was done, it was time to take it outside and hit it with some gray primer. Uh, you do thin little bursts of spray. You don't want to overpaint the figure. You want the paint to just cover it because we want all of those details from this wonderful sculpt. You can see I have that second figure there of the rock and he's also been primed and it's time to start painting. I'm going to start with apple barrel khaki and just kind of stipple the khaki all over the figure. And this is just going to provide a, uh, a depth of color. You don't want these to look like plain old stone. Maybe they were uh, a better piece of stone from the quarry or maybe even you could tease them as a marble um, and or paint them as a, a bronze statue, for example. Go crazy, YouTube. And if you feel like sharing pictures with me, I'd love to see yours. Uh, while the stippling is still slightly wet, I go back over with my granite gray and give it a strong uh, dry brush. This is going to pop the details, give it a much more stone-like look, um, and we're going to get the rock done too. You can see the rock had a, a different pose, bare-chested, and I was a little more free to dress him up in armor. He looks very uh, medieval with his asymmetrical breastplate and strap across the chest. And of course, nothing says medieval fighter like the loincloth, so The Rock got one of those too. I almost didn't want to hit them with my homemade wash, but eh, let's wash them. Here's my homemade black wash, layering it on nice and thick. First, Mr. Reigns, and then The Rock. The Rock? Statue? Huh. 
<laughs> oh man, I just me crack myself up there. All right. Once the uh, wash is dried, we're gonna go back and lighten things back up. Uh, a dry brush with that same granite gray. And if you wanted to, you could dry brush again even lighter with a vanilla ice cream. I chose not to this time, uh, but it's up to you. Let the winds of creativity take you where they will. And that's about it for this craft, YouTube. Nice and simple. Thank you, Dollar Store, for these wonderful Dollar Store figurines. They get the creative juices flowing. I love it. Give this a go. Uh, here they are, our statues next to the original figure. What do you think, YouTube? Did I do a good job? If you like what I'm doing here, uh, please subscribe to the channel, hit like, add some comments. All this stuff helps uh, with the algorithm and really making my channel uh, way more popular. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Here I've got a little setup. You can see a third statue I had done some time ago out of a Wonder Woman figurine. And I used an axe and shield from a package of skeletons that worked really well. Here, this uh, evil knight is taken over the Shrine of Champions, and our heroes have to come and challenge him and get him out of there. Good luck, heroes. I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you so much. As always, like each other, love each other, and craft on.